here for. I know the plans I have for you. That's the core of our calling. You can't be me, I can't be you. That's cool. I've given up years ago trying to be everybody. I, I, it, it made life, made planning a day really difficult. You know, like, who am I going to be today? And, but, but when you, and, and we do, we try and please everybody all of the time and lose our own identity in the process. Moms know that more than anybody. Keep all the kids happy, keep husband happy. Da, 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 da. And then they wake up, the kids have all left home and the husband's working at work and they look in the mirror one day and say, who are you? Because their, the core of their identities got lost along the way. And, and, and I've seen businesses do it where they've got all these bright ideas and entrepreneurial spirit and they've lost the core. I've seen churches do it where there's all that they did whatever and they've lost the core of their calling. And, it, and it's like that song, I'm coming back to the heart. Now I know that talks about worship and, it, and it's an intimacy with Jesus that's at the core of it. And above everything else, folks, you're never going to fulfill your destiny until you come back into the, that core intimate relationship with the Lord. It's just not going to happen. It's just, that's just the way it is. That's 101 now. Intimate relationship with, with Jesus. Until we come to that place. And, and, but from there, in that place, when, where it says, when the music fades and all is stripped away, I can simply come. And it's the stripping away of all the junk and stuff that's going on. Have you got another one, Mary? Um, uh, um, another one. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to get into an afternoon no, teaching session. Um, this, this is the afternoon, so if you've got your manuals out, just don't worry about it. There's, there's, some of these are really deep questions. We've got to come back to the core of our identity. Churches have to come back to the core of their calling, the core of their mission. And, 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 and there's this whole swirl going on in the world right now. This is the transformation of the wine skin that I've talked about, where we are being reformed into his image and model in order that we can contain what he's flowing through us and to meet a needy world with greater power and greater authority. And, and so, whether, whether, it's, whether it's doing children's work, playing the keyboard, leading worship, you know, that, they're all good. And if, we, and if God's blessed you with the ability, like Kelly, to play the keyboard, play the keyboard. Or give me the gift. I mean, you choose. It, 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 it's like, and, and, but, but, it's, but that's great, but that don't, that's not who you are. That's not the core of it. And, and, and maybe it is a healing ministry, maybe it's not. If it's a healing ministry and you've got the passion for it, pursue it. Get the books, study it. Let God rip everything out of you that's blocking the anointing flowing. Healing starts here first. I learned that one very quickly. Healing starts here. Judgment starts here. Hope starts here. The kingdom starts here. Starts here. And as much as we're willing to... You've got, you, you, if you went through week three here, you'll know the whole thing about transformation and restoration. And, and God wants you to make us not just healed, but whole. And, and, and that's where it is. Where, where, but, but pursue it. It's, it's really the same question that, that Jane asked earlier about my desires. And he said, pursue it and see what comes from it. You know, if it's in line with Scripture, see. And, and, and we, we were saying the other day, the, the last 11, 12 years of our life, God's moved us from this well, to that well, to this well, to that well, hasn't it? It's like, we use this phrase, we gleaned from many places to be who we are. So we grew up in, we grew up in revival, and then we went through the bankruptcy I've told you about, and, and then God moved us from, what do you want after failure? Faith, so we got moved into, for, for five, five years or so, into the whole faith stream of Daddy Hagen and Kenneth Copeland and Jerry Savelle. Creflo Dollar and all of those. And that season lifted. And he called us into the place of the Father heart. And, in, and, into, and so that our, our pure, our hearts were healed of love deprivation. And that we saw him as a loving father, not Robocop. That I talked about in one of the sessions. That I know, that I know that I'm, a, that I'm loved and accepted. Whether I completely mess up or completely get it right, he feels the same way. 
And that, and that moved on. And then it was into a church denomination for the first time. And, and, and that, that all happened. And, and then it was around the world and, and into the bridal message and the whole bride of Christ stuff, and along with the prophetic and the end times. And, and then Joseph came along and we've had all the grace stuff mixed in. And we're just this composite of where we gleaned from. But all the time he's saying, I need you here. I need you there. I need you here. Just that still small voice. Go left. Go right. When Abraham got up out of his father's house, Genesis... I've forgotten what the chapter it is now. 12. Genesis 12. It says, you know, it's literally he opened the tent door, stepped out and said, okay, God, do I go left or right? Because God wasn't going to show him until he was on the way. <laughs> Now he did the logical thing and followed the trading routes that went up through Turkey and all the way down what is now through Lebanon and down, down into what is now Israel. That was his journey. But he had a decision and he has a, you'll hear a small voice behind you saying, this is the way. And, and that's where it is. And, and I think that applies to anything. And, and, and like I taught on, on Friday, I think it was, about this whole thing about the talents. There, there are, there are long-term assignments, which is your, the core of your calling, but there's short-term ones too. And when it's over, we give an account, we hand the fruit and, and the seed back to the Lord. And when he's ready, he gives it us again. So, so playing a keyboard or leading worship or, or doing children's work may be for a season and God's building stuff into you. At that point, and then that season's over and it's to here and I need you there. And then, but all the time, there'll be a core of it. And please God, you see it long before I did, because I was 42 before I understood my identity. <laughs> and what my purpose was on the face of the earth. Right, let me see what these are. 